Hey, how's it going guys? Today we're gonna play Will You Press The Button? It is a game where you get one good scenario, but if you press the button you get that one, and but you also get a bad thing that comes along with it. So, for example, the first one here. You can see through stuff, x-ray vision in the daytime, but at night you're completely blind. So if I press the button, I would like to have this. I would say it would be awesome with x-ray vision, you can see a lot of things, but having it all the time would be kind of annoying. And be completely blind at night, and I play games at night, it would not be worth it. You find the meaning of life, but you're in every way unable to tell, ev tell anyone ever. Hell yes, I would love it. I don't care if I can't tell people, just knowing the meaning would be amazing, so heck yeah. You can have anything you want, any one thing, real or fiction, but owning that object is not legal for you and carries a hefty sentence if you're caught with it. Well, I think some things you could hide in your ha house, so let's say like I could just say, I want an Xbox, and no one would know that I own an Xbox. It would be pretty good. The only problem is that, like, cars and stuff like that, you wouldn't be able to because people would see you with them. But it would still be awesome. So, yeah, because you don't have to take the stuff. Donate $100 to charity, but a cute and adorable dog will die. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was just, that's quite, quite obvious. It was a bad one. You get the power to send electric currents through objects and people, but the love of your life becomes an emotionless... <laughs> wait, 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 would I want that power? Yep, sure, I can uh, start a car without power cables, but I don't, I, I, don't, I don't see the point of that one. You can become any animal at will, that would be very awesome, becoming a bear when you want to fight or something, <laughs> but when you transform back into a human, you will still act like the lost animal for 10 hours. <laughs> um, well, this could be cool though, like imagine when you're trying to sleep, you just transform into like a sloth or some, some slow animal, or like a... Um, I don't know, any animal that's super slow and tired, and you can sleep for 10 hours. That's awesome, of course. That was a good one. And you can put words on a piece of paper just by looking at it. Oh, that would be so cool. That is my problem when I'm writing tests. I got like the, I got the, my thoughts in my head and like know what to write, but it takes forever for me to write stuff. <laughs> But the words are printed in comics. Well, well, so you can do this, but you don't have to put them on it, like by looking on the paper. So of course I would like the option to. I wouldn't use it if I'm trying to write something formally, but like on a on a math test or something like that. That would have been amazing. Yes. Oh, Comic Sans, guys. Comic Sans might be the best font ever. And uh, you can figure out any problem in just a matter of seconds. Any problem, like the meaning of life, how to build a spaceship to or to go to Pluto. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> but you're with your with the bed every night. Any problem? Yes, definitely. I couldn't I technically solve that problem by doing it? Yeah, 56% people press the button. Yeah. That was kinda... Those are... You're smart guys. Uh, you're gifted with virtual mastery in the sports of your choice. But you died 12 years and 27 days after pressing the button. Nobody discovers how. No. 12 years is a very short amount of time. I would then be... Like 30. Thirty when I die. It's my birthday tomorrow, so well, thirty-one, pretty much. <laughs> so no, I I would love to live longer than that. So no, 
I do not mean to press the button. Sorry. Uh, you can go to any fancy world you desire and live there, but you can be killed and your survival in that world depends on your own physical or mental strength. I would definitely go to Hogwarts. That would be so amazing. And well, it should be safe now, pretty much. So that would be that would be good, cool. So yeah, definitely. I can just take it easy. So you can get be killed in the real world too. So I don't see any difference there. You gain the power of your favorite superhero, which would probably be Iron Man, but your friends no longer recognize you. Could you make new friends? <laughs> no, no, I would not do that. Uh, <laughs> Fifty-six percent would have pressed the button. Well, yeah, being Iron Man would be pretty good. <laughs> you become rich and incredibly charming. Am I not incredibly charming already? I got a majestic hair at least. I, I think I think that weighs up for it though. <laughs> But every time you laid a gang of fat biker repeats you. <laughs> no. I would not want to be beat up that every time. That would suck. For 7% would have pressed the button. Are you kidding me? Every single time. That's okay. You can't get rich without having to press the button, even still, so... You will become immortal and travel the multiverse, but you will live a life of sadness and regrets which will plague you wherever you go. What? Why? I, I see the beauty of being immortal, but it's not worth it if you're gonna, it's gonna be... It's like being tortured forever. Who would want that? 39% would have pressed the button. Are they? Okay, okay. You can be in any fictional universe you want, but you are in the body of your least favorite character. So let's think about this. Let's say I could go to Star Wars. Then, uh, now let's say Hogwarts. Let's go to the Harry Potter, the Harry Potter universe. My least favorite character must be some. It's probably like that girl from from that Ron likes in the sixth movie. That would suck. It would still be very, very cool. Let's see. You can be in any fictional. So like having the option, you don't have to go. Of course, I would like to have the option. You have sex with your favorite movie star, but you have to get a hundred paper cuts on your hand. A hundred paper cuts. Like, um, okay, a hundred paper scars or cuts will go be over pretty false, I would say. So, <laughs> I would do it, 53%. Like, it's just 100 paper cuts. Like, it's, it's not that bad. You can be rich and immortal, I like the sound of that. But you always have to walk, and you can't sit anymore. I could lay down, right? But still, not sitting would be... Would kind of suck. I could never drive a Ferrari. No, that would suck. You can't drive fast cars or cool cars. No, that would not be worth it. See, when you actually put it that way, like people strive to become rich and powerful, but the basic things of like sitting is more important to most people. <laughs> you will have magical powers and a talking cat, but you will have to stop evil whenever you see it. Well, with magical powers, it wouldn't be that difficult. It would be... And like, evil, how often do you see real, pure evil stuff? But yeah, sure. Yay, 77%. 
literally everyone likes you and wants you, but you're actually a donut. <laughs> Wait, that means they would like want to eat me. No, I don't want to be eaten. I will not be eaten. You get into the best PhD program in the world, but you feel like a dumbass every day. Yeah, that is kind of like you can learn, right? <laughs> you can always, yeah, well, every day. So yeah, I don't know. You get to keep the one ring from Lord of the Rings, but you have to give Gollum a piggyback everywhere, <laughs> everywhere you go. Well, would it technically the ring like torture me and like be really heavy and want me to make me go to Sauron and I have to piggyback Gollum every time? Wouldn't it be very, very fun? <laughs> going going to school with Gollum, I think it would be pretty cool actually, but I, I would not do that. You gain immense power and are capable of doing whatever you want, but in 25 years time your soul will be reaped and you will enter a catatonic state. Catatonic state. I don't really know what a catatonic state is, but it doesn't sound nice. It does not sound nice. Okay, you run twice as smart, but you go deaf for 10 minutes every hour. Twice as smart would be amazing. Imagine the things you could do. Like a normal human being got an IQ, I think, around 100 something, 90, I'm not 100% sure. And let's say you double that, you get an IQ of 200. That is like better than Einstein and people. What? Imagine the powers you could have with it, but go deaf for 10 minutes every hour. It could be quite dangerous, I think. I mean, if you're having a conversation with anyone, so I would not do it. I'm happy with the way I live. Alright, last one. You can become invisible at will, that's amazing. But you cannot become visible again when you're sad or depressed. And um, I would do this. I'm not that, o that sad that often. And I, I think... You could pretty much, like, why would you, you just, when you're sad, just make sure you don't go invisible. You just go invisible when you're happy. That would be pretty much, that would be pretty cool, and do cool stuff then. Imagine the things you could do when you're invisible, and we all know what everyone would do when they're invisible. <laughs> so, yeah, I would do that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an amazing year with this channel. I never expected it to be this, grow, to grow this fast. And I just love this community. I love you all so much. For, thank you so much for watching my videos. I feel honored. And it's amazing just being in the comments and chatting with you guys. So I will do more interactive active stuff with you in the future. Like I'm planning on live streaming. I'm planning to play some games with you. And my Steam group if you want to join that. Next year we will get a better mi mic if you want to donate to that. My Patreon page is linked below. And uh, yeah, when you're watching this, it's my birthday. I'm probably out celebrating. And it's New Year's Eve at the same time. So thank you and I hope you have a great New Year's Eve with lots of friends and family. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next year with even better content. Thank you so much once again, and bye.